Hello, Katie here from Katie's World. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a paper piecing from an upcoming page kit, Baking Up Some Magic. And this is page kit number 12. It may or may not be available when this video gets posted, but check the link below. If it's available, there's a direct link if to the kit, and if not, it'll say coming soon. So I'm going to be using the Arclair Designer Dries Clear Liquid Glue with the fine metal tip. And I'm going to start with this large piece right here. There's a, quite a few teeny tiny pieces, so just be very careful. I just um, dumped out all the pieces, and just be careful on your work surface not to have anything extra, not to let them blow away. Um... So yeah, because there's some small ones here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. Now this one has quite a few connection points because it would have been a lot of little pieces if I didn't connect them all. So at the end, we're going to use um, a fine tip black marker to fill those lines in. You're gonna have a little bit of a black border all around, so just try to make sure and center it on there real nice as best you can. Any glue that oozes out, I like to just take my pin and pick that up. Okay, so the next piece I'm going to do is the hat. I tend to like to do the bigger pieces first that are around the outer edges. And that helps to fill in as I get towards the center for the placement of the smaller pieces. Okay, I'm going to add the, the tie to his apron next, just because it looks more defined. It'll be easier to place. And again, working around the outside edges. And why don't we go ahead and add his shoes and the bottom piece of his apron. It's good to set it there first and make sure you do have the correct side when adding your glue. And then this little piece right here. And if there's a textured on one side, that's a good indication that the textures face up. And there's a little tiny yellow piece that goes right here. And I want to just get that down right now before I lose it. And it looks like a triangle. Um, it's kind of hard to tell which way, which side it goes. So I'm not going to worry about it because it's just too small to tell, I think. I'm just going to get it, yeah. get it in there, hopefully. Okay, should give you a little close up. Okay, 
Okay, so next it looks like maybe we can put, oh no wait, let's do this bottom one here. Yeah, that looks easy enough. And now I'm gonna there's this banding right there. Okay, and let's see. Maybe this piece right there. I'm gonna just add some glue on here. Maybe that'll be easier. I'm just laying these pieces down to make sure I get the spacing correct. I'm going to go ahead and add glue on this piece because I can see that's going to go right in there. Go ahead and add a space in. a little tricky on the face because you want to make sure you have the spacing correct or the angle I mean to fit in his arm right here so that's why I laid the arm down first so I could see where that's going to go so it just kind of sits there but I didn't glue the arm just in case I got the arm off too so This image is very detailed, a lot of different colors, so, all right, and there's a little white piece that's going to go right in there, so I'm going to pull out, his eyes are going to go up here, so I've got two more small white pieces, all right, so it's this one, so put the glue right here. And this piece. Okay, make sure you have it going the right way. All right. Well, I can see it coming together. I'm really liking it. All right, I'm going to get his eyes in there.
Okay, let's do this tongue. So what I am thinking as I'm doing this is when I get to the cookies, there's quite a few similar looking shapes, all the same color. So it's going to make it a little difficult to figure out, but we'll do it. But what I'm thinking is for the kits, um, I think I may be able to just cut the holes in here and then you'll have a larger piece to glue behind here of just that brown piece to show through. So I'm going to try that and if that works out, that's how your paper piecing will be in the kit. Um, but I can't guarantee it, plus I'm going to try to make it a lot easier to do those, put those cookies in. So we'll see. Actually, I'm going to make a note real quick because I don't want to forget to do that. And I think I'll also for the that little teeny tiny yellow one, that was pretty small, so I might try that one too. So I'm going to cut the holes for cookies and yellow piece, tiny yellow piece. All right, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to work on this side next. This hand's going to go about right there. Then I'm trying to figure it out. And this goes up there and this goes under. There's a silver foil for the... I guess little... Oh! I'm thinking... We have this tan color for this like ladle spoon type piece, but it seems like these should actually also be silver mirror. So I'm going to put the hand on. And then I'm going to put this silver piece and this silver piece there. Then I think having this one, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in. And then I think what I'm gonna do is leave these two pieces off and go ahead and cut those out of silver mirror as well because it doesn't make sense that those aren't silver if they handle silver. I have them this color for some reason. So um yeah, so in the kit, they'll be silver. And I'll add those on after this video. All right, let me see about these cookies, if I can even figure out, well, where are they going to go? There's the tiniest one. And they have little teeny tiny dots. They're supposed to be holes, but they don't, they're not holes. So I might just, those are just going to probably be left blank. And if you want to add little black dots to... Um, make them look like chocolate chips you can I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these in but yeah I think I'm definitely gonna try to just make it a one layer behind I think that'll make it a lot easier for everyone now these are so similar so anyway I'm gonna do this off camera because I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me figure this part out um, but I do want to say thank you so much for, oh, no, no, wait, I can't finish. I got to do the connection points for you. Okay, so let's do those real quick. So I'm using the black, it's called, it's the Pure Black Zig Rider, and I'm using the fine tip. Okay, so let's do those real quick. So let's see, starting, I'm going to do right here by his hand. I'm going to get these out of my way because it's kind of hard to do it when I got those right there. Okay. 
and then over here, all right, this part, and here. So I just want to show you that by the the ribbon or the apron part. Okay, and then on the table, right here, all those connection points on the table to give that divided look. Oh, and then right here, and right here, oh yeah, that looks much better. Okay, I think I got every, oh no, no, I missed one right here. Okay, so there we go, so I'll give you a close up there, you can see all the little connection points there that now filled it in it looks much better so I'm going to stop right there and as I said I'm going to, I'll for mine I'll go ahead and put these in off camera but for the kits I'm going to change this to silver and then I'm going to make these holes in the black with a piece of yellow and a larger piece of yellow and a large piece of the dark brown to fill in oh, that'll make it so much easier so I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram for updates on upcoming projects. Thank you so much again for watching and have a great day.